Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at a maintenance issue, problem with the Ford Focus. Uh, I noticed a couple of times recently it's been quite hard to start with it. Hard to start. It's had issues starting when it's cold. And when I say issues, I mean turn the key on, wait for the blow plug light to go off, turn the key, it would start and die. And it's done it twice in twice ever. So on my scale of things on this car, that's a problem because this car's pretty top notch in terms of maintenance. So just going to run through what I've done to diagnose the problem or diagnose the issue and how we're going to fix it. Uh, so to do the diagnosis, um, got a few things. Got a fault code reader. It's my new Foxwell one. Uh, seems pretty good. I'll, I haven't seen any reviews of this one on YouTube, so I might sort that out sometime soon. We got the uh, Erica approved scope on the road. And we got a multimeter. Remember, this is my same crappy old multimeter that just puts random numbers on the screen, doesn't really tell you what you're doing, but it's good enough for what we're doing here. So, we'll look into it. So we'll start off with the code reader, we'll just plug it in, see if anything shows up. Have a look. Codes found zero, so we don't have any codes. In. So there we go, no codes. Uh, so the next easiest thing to check in terms of diesels and cold starting is the glow box. So we'll head under the bonnet, have a look, and we'll go through how to check those. Take off the old idiot cover if someone calls them. Well, it's 150, almost 154,000 kilometres. I'll just show you how it starts at the moment. So, key on ignition, key on, glow plug light's gone off. Starts up no problem. Typical, of course, because uh, obviously when I want to try and show you the problem, it doesn't show up, but that's fine. Uh, so next, next we'll head under the bonnet and uh, do the diagnosis. So first of all, what is a glow plug and how does it help a diesel start? So diesels are compression engines. They rely on compression and heat to get things going. Uh, when they're cold, they need a little bit of help, which is when the glow plugs come in. Uh, so what normally happens is you turn the engine on, you get the glow plug light on the dash, and that sends power to the glow plugs. This is the glow plug. Then it heats up the tip here really, really hot uh, so that the fuel and air in the combustion channel compression chamber are nice and hot so they can start easier. Uh, so glow plugs normally burn for five seconds or so depending on ambient temperature and uh, then go off. On this particular car and a lot of more modern vehicles uh, they have a second function. Uh, they don't only help with starting, uh, they also continue to run or come on intermittently during warm-up to help reduce emissions. So. They can affect fuel economy, they can affect emissions, uh, so it's best to have these working. Uh, puts less stress on your battery, your starter, the engine in general. So healthy glow plugs mean a healthier engine. Uh, so what we're going to do to, to test these, uh, we're going to test the glow plug circuit, uh, the, the power source that, that supplies the glow plugs when you turn the key on, and that's controlled by a relay and the coolant temperature sensor and once we've done that then we'll go on and test the, the glow plugs themselves. Uh, glow plugs nothing too clever it's just a, a heat a, a coil essentially so it should have a low resistance put some power to it the tip will glow nice and hot uh, so we'll demonstrate with the new ones demonstrate with the old ones and, and show you what a good and a bad one looks like so what I've done now, I've connected a little test lead up to the terminal on the on one of the glow plugs, one per cylinder, and that just runs through to my scope on the rope, which is earthed over on the big earth pin over there. So I'll go and cycle the ignition and you can see see if the glow plug circuit's working or not.
There you go, you saw the, the light come on with the ignition, uh, you also saw the relay, probably heard the relay click off and on, on and off. Uh, so yeah, the uh, glow plug, power supply, control, all seems pretty good. So next we'll do some testing on each of the glow plugs. Okay, so I'll show you on a, on a new one first what the resistance should be. So bear in mind, my meter's rubbish. Uh, the leads here have a resistance of about 2.8 ohms. And uh, these ground against the body like a spark plug, so put a negative on there and the power at the top here. So we've got a resistance of 3.2 ohms, so practically none. Uh, so that's what a good one should look like. Now we'll come on to the car, test one of the ones in there. Right, so I've got the negative terminal hooked up to the battery. And we'll just test our earth here, just it's something. That Resistance has changed, it's high quality multimeter, 1.7 ohms. So our resistance between the glow plug and earth should be, as you saw, less than an ohm, really. So we'll touch on power to the first one. Oh yeah, open circuit there. And we go on to the next one. Open circuit. Next one, open circuit. We'll presume the last one's open circuit too because I can't get to it, so we'll just double check that. Yeah. Uh, so that's enough evidence I need to actually pull one out and I'll we'll pull them out and, and swap them. But uh, I'll pull some out and we'll test them on the bench and take it from there. So this engine is actually quite easy to, to get to the plugs to change them. Uh, so you see you got a little, I think it's a 6 or 7 mil nut that holds the power cable to the top of the, the glow plug. Uh, you see they've left you a little hole to get to that one. You can, where's it going? It's in there somewhere. Next one's, there you go, there's that one. And there's one more at the end there somewhere. Uh, so I'll, I'll go ahead, spin the nuts off, and then start taking the plugs out. So yep, there's 7mm of those nuts on the top. Here's good old John Deere to keep hold of those nuts who are quite small and easy to drop somewhere. There we go, that's the nuts off. Next we'll take out the glow plugs themselves, which is a 10mm, need a 10mm deep socket. There we go, four glow plugs. Okay, so we'll just run for a quick resistance check on the old ones. Open circuit. Open circuit. 
Hang on a second. Hang on a second. We'll just crank up the resistance, see if there's any kind of. Dead as a dodo, which yeah, so nothing at all. So they're all completely toast. So how the car's been starting when it's cold, who only knows? It's quality of Ford engineering, I'm sure. Right now, the other test we can do on my special workbench here, we can actually apply some power, see if they, they light up, so put the earth on the earth end we'll add some power up there and that tip should start to glow red it doesn't do anything so icy cold and try the same on a new one. F to the F. And apply some power. See that's smoking already. That's what a good glow plug should look like. So that's now really hot, so I've got to wait for that to cool down. Before I can stick it in the car. But yeah, that's what a glow plug should look like. You see four dead ones. My four good ones soon. There we go. So, get the new plug plugs in. I've just put a tiniest amount of anti seize on the on the threads. Just to, the last thing you want is a glow plug snapping off in your diesel motor. There we go, they're all in, so I'll just do a quick resistance check, show you what they should look like when they're working. So one, the earth terminal of the multimeter is attached to the battery, and we'll just go through and check the resistance of each of those. So less than one. Less than one. Less than one. Less than one. So good set of glow plugs. So next step is to draw them out. There you go, testing and replacing glow plugs. Uh, that was it on a 1.8 TDCI Lynx KKDA, whatever you call it, engine, which goes in the Focus, the Mondeo, the Transit. Um, same principles apply to pretty much any glow plug. It's just a, a heater coil, uh, so it should have a low resistance, probably less than one ohm, generally speaking. Um, it should glow red when you put some power to it. Uh, so yeah, hope that helps. Comment, link, subscribe, whatever you do on 
YouTube and uh, thanks for watching.